friends. We're over here at the OpenSea largest NFT digital marketplace. And I'm going to show you how to actually put one of your images for sale on OpenSea. Um, there's lots of websites that you can actually design images. This is called canva.com. I like to use Photoshop. I have Photoshop 9. The reason is, is it has image ready as an extension and I can do animated GIFs like the Kronk card that they're offering. I'm actually going to take the Kronk card and completely cut it apart and make it a digital crypto coin access card and it will be uh, like seven or eight different new coins that are being offered. Um, this is one of my images. Being that um, we're selling images with Ethereum blockchain, I'm doing a more Ethereum theme. So um, here's Mona Lisa. Sorry about that. Let's see. Gotta have it with uh, Ethereum. There you go. There she is holding Ethereum right here. All right. Um, all right. So if you go to my collections, you know, when you're first starting, obviously there'll be nothing here. When you click on my collections you'll see there's a button here that says create but you also can click on the create button up here and you can also click on the submit FTS button I didn't realize you couldn't see it there you go all right so you can see that I have three collections you kind of want to have a similar theme Instead of a whole bunch of things out on front, you have a collection. So I have like a theme, Mona Lisa with Ethereum. And then I'll have icons made out of pixel art, 8 bit type pixel art, and then also the dog coin. I'll be selling a bunch of different types of dog coin pixel art. All right, so what you do is you click on new correction collection um this is not the image that you're selling this is actually the image for people to see so you're going to want to take one of your images here so this thing is if i go to image size you're going to see that it's 1200 by 1800 pixels being that it's going to be a jpeg i kept it at 72 dpi because there's no reason other than that, unless you're making a PDF and you're going to print them. But these are going to be minted uh, JPEG images that people can just keep as a, a collection. All right, so um, what you want to do is you're going to image size it. You're going to want to make it 300 pixels tall and wide. So if, it, if you put 300 and it says 400 here, you need to put 300 and then make it 200. See, so now it's a 200 by 300. You're going to save for web. Say OK. And then you go down to here. And you'll see, and I named it 300 right here, see. And now you'll see that it fits within the recommended dimensions. You push create. Oh, yeah, right. You're going to want to create a collection name. So this will be called Mona Ether. And you can also put a description like, thank you for your support. Then you push create. And now we have a collection. 
in the collection is where you're going to add your images for sale. So it's like a file cabinet and then your images are in here. You add your image, you'll notice that MetaMask <clears throat> Ethereum wallet opens up and you have to sign in because you're going to make the image now a token connected Ethereum. Um, so I'm going to pick an image like this one. This is Mona Lisa with Ethereum. It'll be like a trading card. You're going to want to name it Mona Ether. This one is a trading card. I like to select copy, paste in the description. Obviously, you want, you know, capital letters. You want it to be completely professional. I'm just doing, first of all, I have the camera right in front of my face and it's really hard. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to have the camera better. <clears throat> all right. Um, all right, so here's the image. You could do JPEG, ping, GIF, SVG, MP4, WebM, MP3s, waves. I mean, you can make music, you could do digital graphics, you can scan like a deed, whatever. Uh, maximum, they're recommending 100 megabytes. I've seen 10 on some other sites. Obviously, you name it, put a description, and then here's these things. I don't really use them, but you can, you know, add properties and t and do different so that it's different from your other images. And anyway, um, <clears throat> I'll get more into that next because, well, yeah, um, I I don't touch any of this stuff because this is this is like advanced if you really wanted to you know, get stats and do like levels and, but, um, anyway, uh, I don't also click the unlockable. I leave it. And then, um, I'm only going to offer one. I like to offer one cause then it costs. Um, all right. So here we are. We have a created new item, the Mona Lisa ether trade card. You can instantly go to the cell or you can visit, make sure everything is in order. It will show you about it, your chain info, where the block is. And then when you're ready to sell any of your items, you go to my collections and let's just say you want to sell the Mona Lisa but with an ether head, you click right here, push sell, comes up, <clears throat> is a set price, you have a highest bid auction, and you can bundle things, like group items up. Um, highest bidder would be auction, that's where you get a whole bunch of money, you're hoping that people bid. It's like five days. Um, I'm going to do highest bidder. Obviously, you could do a set price. You know, like I want one Ethereum. Uh, when you click here, you'll see that there's Ethereum, DAI, USD coin. Um, Ether is kind of like the popular thing to use. I'm going to use Ether. Um... See how you can have like an ending price, so like if people don't buy it at a dollar, I mean one Ethereum, which is 1800 you can actually say, well, <clears throat> if people don't buy it, I'm willing to sell it for a little bit less, so if someone comes and they go like, I don't want it at that, it'll start offering at this price after the expiration date, which is in five days, see? It'll knock it down. So you could have like a price of like 0.5, so it'd be like $1,000. You can have an ending price. You can have it like never expire. You can have it one week, one month, certain amount of days. If you're going to do a set price, 
you know, maybe you don't do the ending price and you just never expire, you know, do the expiration. Expiration must be set for this type of list and expiration date. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> they want you to expire it, I guess, after a certain amount of time. I wonder if I could do, I don't know, next year sometime. Will let me. Okay. It's just a day. <laughs> Alright, let's try a month. Alright, there you go. <clears throat> I didn't know that you couldn't pick that, so sorry about that. Um, see how it says you can keep this a public listing, but you can specify it one address and make it private, you know? Um, Alright, let's see here. Any price cannot be greater than starting price. Alright. So if you're going to do an ending price, you have to click here, see? If you don't want an ending price, turn it off. All right, so now you're going to see that here's the next last thing. Um, they want to have you pay a gas fee. So right now, the gas fee for Ether tonight is about a hundred dollars about 15 minutes ago is only ninety four dollars so um i'm gonna probably reject this i'm gonna wait till like 3 a.m and wake up and post most of my stuff around 3 a.m 4 a.m hour off times um i usually ch check when the best times would be and that's about that time for Pacific Standard Time would be 3 a.m., roughly. <clears throat> anyway, um, you'll want to purchase coins over at Coinbase or Binance or, you know, other companies. Um, Coinbase is where I purchase my stuff. Um, you're going to want to purchase couple hundred dollars worth of ethereum and then you'll copy your address here here let me zoom in all right let me go so up here right here if you click on that it copies it you'll want to go to your email address Do a compose, paste your address. So let me go back here. Copied, paste. So there it is, pasted. And then I'll paste it here. And then I'll send it to myself. And then I'll use my iPhone, log into Gate, and then I'll send money from that gate account address to this new the metamask open source um so once you say okay it's now on line and ready for sale There it is. The Mona Etherhead. Well, if you have any questions, please comment. Ask me anything. Um, please leave a comment. Please leave some good comments. Please also like my video and also follow me. Thank you very much. I am going to continue making more of these how-to videos. Hoping that I actually make one that's really good <laughs> these are kind of my first videos talking so sorry about that but um anyway that's how you use OpenSea the largest NFT marketplace it's where they have the crunk card it's where they have Bill Punk and all these other amazing look at that gosh darn it I wish I would have 
anyway. Well, uh, thanks for watching.